सो गुड इवनिंग फ्रेंड्स दिस इज डॉक्टर विनीत सैगल एंड वेलकम टू आर स्पेशल सीरीज ऑन हाउ टू बी पी जी एम ई टॉपर सो टूडे आई वुड डिस्कस अबाउट हाउ टू यूज टेस्ट एंड डिस्कशन कोर्स इन योर पी जी प्रिपरेशन सो बेसिकली टेस्ट एंड डिस्कशन कोर्स इज समथिंग वेयर द टीचर द एजुकेटर टेल्स यू आस्क यू अराउंड हंड्रेड टू टू हंड्रेड क्वेश्चन एंड देन आफ्टर योर अटेम्प्ट दे डिस्कस दैट क्वेश्चन इट मे बी इन अ फॉर्म ऑफ जस्ट theory notes or it can be your live classes so basically a test and discussion course judges your completion of the syllabus so if you are doing everything in ophthalmology let's say and you have skipped about the types of blindness maybe economic blindness maybe preventable blindness or avoidable blindness and you have got a question there so this is something which is there in your blind spot so it tells you about your blind spot the third important thing that it does is it gives you the much needed mcq practice so many times i have seen that the students who are post interns they are done with their notes but they have not done a good mcq practice so this test and discussion gives a mcq practice to them it also tells them about the time management let's say if they are able to cover the test within 15 minutes of their stipulated time or not so it increases your speed as well remember a test and discussion does not tell you about your standing so whether you are a rank 5 50 or 500 it doesn't matter in a test and discussion course it does not tells you how much days you should devote to a subject so this should not be the basis of your time table sometimes student ask me that i have given 7 days to anesthesia 7 days to pathology 7 days to pharmacology and 7 days to ophthalmology so remember the anesthesia and ophthalmology they are short subjects the pathology and pharmacology they are large subjects so just because your time table is like that your test and discussion is like that that it is giving 7 days to anesthesia and ophthalmology test it does not mean that you have to make your study time table like that okay so your study time table should be totally separate when you are having a test and discussion go there give the exam and then go back to your original template original time table it is not your reference study material so whatever extra you get in a test and discussion course just write it down in your main notes or in your main guide book so my suggestions for you is please use it only if you are done with one revision if you are not done with one revision or you have not studied the subject it is just useless to give a test and discussion it is ideal for those students who are a post intern and already completed and revised subjects because they need the mcq practice and they have to just brush up their skills after doing a test and discussion please go through your notes again and see that are you able to applicate these points to your main exam don't need to study the whole explanation only the important points only the points which are there in your blind spot you have to read them only and these additional points you have to write in in your main guide book so remember for the success in pg entrance exam there need to have three things one is your revision the second is your strategy and your time table and third is your consistency so remember the amount of syllabus that you cover the extensiveness of the syllabus you cover that is not important if you are giving 30 days to a small subject it won't give you 15 or 20 marks in the eames exam it would give 5 marks only okay so your revision 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 is most important consistency of your studies so it is not like that you have studied 6 hours a day in one day 12 hours in another day and 2 hours in the third day so you have to be consistently throughout the day throughout the month throughout the year so thank you very much for seeing this session subscribe to the unacademy need plus app with my coupon code that is dr vinit 10 jai hind